Hey guys, welcome to Skill Link. Up until now, the welding topics which we discussed had something in common. They were all used for welding medium to thin metal bars or sheets. But what if we want to weld thick materials, say materials with thickness over 30 mm? Such materials cannot be welded together with conventional welding procedures such as stick welding or TIG welding or even gas welding. Instead, we use a different type of welding procedure called electroslag welding. This method uses the same basic equipment that is used in most arc welding operations, an electrode and the power source. Similar to MIG welding, the electrode is fed into the welding pool from a winding. The welding procedure is as follows. The two materials that are to be welded are clamped together by a molding shoe. A small gap is left between the workpieces. Below this gap, a base plate is then placed below the gap, sealing it shut on both the sides with just one opening from the top. A flux material is then added into the gap. After this, the electrode is lowered into this particular gap. One end of the power terminal is connected to the electrode and another end is clamped to the base metal. An arc is initiated between the electrode material and the flux. Due to the high temperature of the arc, the flux material is melted. More flux is added into the gap till the molten slag reaches the tip of the electrode. After this, the arc is then extinguished. The main reason why the flux is added here is that it is a very bad conductor of electricity. Because of this, when the current is passed through the molten slag, dual heating occurs. This causes the electrode wire which is in contact with the flux to also heat up, causing it to melt and join with the flux weld pool. Since this procedure does not purely depend on arc generation, it is commonly not considered as an arc welding procedure. Instead, it is considered as a fusion welding process. The mold which is used to hold the entire weld pool is normally water-cooled. Since the density of the slag material is much lesser than the molten electrode material, it stays on top of the weld pool. This aids in continuous generation of heat as well as protection of the weld pool from oxygen and other atmospheric elements. While welding very thick materials, the holding die is moved along with the weld pool as it increases in size. Since most of the metal at the bottom would have solidified, this wouldn't be a problem. The electrode feed can also be increased by adding more than one electrode wires into the joint. Due to this specific reason, thick metals can be welded together quite easily with the electroslag welding process. Well, that's it for today's video guys. We'll meet again in the next one. Until then, bye!